So this is going to be part two of styling the tan blazer. Um, so this look is just thrown over a simple little higher neck swing dress. Um, this is a loft swing dress, just black. It does have three quarter sleeves, but um, just threw this on with the blazer and I went ahead and belted it just to kind of define my waist a little bit more. Mine doesn't close, so I, this is a way of keeping it more together and I just kind of tucked all of that extra fabric into the back just for a little more of a streamlined and tailored look. I went ahead and cuffed my blazer and just kind of scrunched up the sleeves there. Just wearing some kind of a little simple statement earrings, just these also loft earrings. Um, this dress is just thrifted, got it from Clothes Mentor. This belt is just a little belt. You can use any size belt that you want. And then for the shoes, I have on again those pointed toe kitten heels from Topshop that also, again, thrifted. I want to show another variation, just slight variation that you could do with another pair of shoes. So this is the other shoe variation. This is just a simple block heel ankle strap like target shoe. Um, I think it looks just, you know, another variation that you can do. Of course, a black pump. You could even do a colored um, shoe if you wanted to. You don't even have to do a black dress, but just throw it on a little black dress with a tan blazer over top. It does give it more of a just classic chic feel. I mean, you can even do a colored dress if you want it to, or even a printed dress and put the blazer over top of it. But I think this is a easy and professional look for an interview. I feel like everyone has, you know, a little black dress in their closet. So here's another look it's on the same lines as doing a dress underneath the blazer you could just throw on a skirt I decided to go with this neutral printed cheetah print um, I consider cheetah print to be a more of a neutral print because it has those creams those whites those tans and blacks in it and browns and I think that it pairs perfectly with tan it's gonna look more like a tone on tone kind of monochromatic look because of the fact that the cheetah print has more of those neutral tones in it and I think it looked nice just paired again with that blouse from the second look in part one again I just threw on the belt from the last look same shoes as the last look and same earrings but um if these are a little too um I guess statement for you you could always do simple earrings you could do a simple necklace um, but I think it looks nice with the blazer I really really like it of course if you want to add a little more personality you could definitely add I think a fun little shoe fun pop of color just to kind of brighten it up and I'm actually going to show you how to do that in the next look <music> last look styling the tan blazer and I decided to do a little play on what would be a traditional suit by pairing it with these tan um, cropped pants that have a more of a paper bag waist I love the tie um, belt on it because um, it brings you in and defines your waist I paired it with a different kind of white blouse this one is just a loft one of their like chiffon camis it has a nice button detail to it so it has a little more interest than the last blouse that I had on but you definitely could do that as well if you don't want to do a v-neck if you want something a little more higher um because the pants are tan the blazer is tan you kind of get that look of a look and feel of a suit without it being too um I don't want to say stuffy but you know that look of sometimes a suit can just be very plain. This I think has a little more interest. And of course, because my blazer has a little more of a print to it, it does give it a little more of a contrast and more interest with that. And then, like I said before, you can do a fun little color on the shoe. This is just an orange kind of slip on Zara bow detail shoe. Um, again, this may not be for a super professional interview, but I feel like any type of pump or flat that you want to add just a little bit of interest to, you can do that because that kind of shows that you have a little bit of personality. Um, of course, you can always pair it with um, the meals I had on before in part one. 
which if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check out the series. This is just more of an all over neutral tone on tone monochromatic look. Or you could pair it with either of those other black shoes, a navy shoe, just something that is a little more neutral if you don't wanna do a pop of color. I went back to the small earrings that I had in part one and then the chain necklace just so that your neck is not too bare with it being a v-neck but I really do love this look and I think that it's a fun like I said a fun take on the traditional suit so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this series and and if you guys have fashion dilemmas DM me. I'm going to be um, starting up a styling service where I can help you guys revamp your closet if you need, you know, styling pieces or styling for occasions, styling dilemmas. Um, I'm going to be doing some services because I've been getting a lot of requests for that recently. So I figured I might as well um, offer that to you guys. And it's something that I've kind of been doing over the years. Um, on the side but I thought that it'd be fun just to kind of start this little new business venture so if you guys are interested in having your closet revamped styling if you need a personal shopper to go shop and style some things for you just let me know dm me um everything is in the works right now but I'm really excited so thank you guys so much for watching and with all these looks I would pair just a structured um bag neutral bag so I have this um, Calvin Klein, Safiana leather, kind of dome satchel. Um, and I would just wear this with all the looks. I forgot to say the bag. Yeah. But any neutral bag, black bag, I would definitely do something a little more structured than versus something that's like a hobo bag or a crossbody bag. But I don't think it truly, truly matters. But like, you know, something that's more of like a structured, almost briefcase type style. So, yeah. <laughs>